Right, that burger would hold its own against any burger in the world. It's that good. Hi guys, today we are making my perfect cheeseburger. This is simple and quick to make. First off, I've got some beautiful ground beef. This is 80-20 uh, meat to fat ratio, which is perfect. That's exactly what you want. I've got some brioche buns and I've got some basic salad and some cheese. Just putting this to one side and then I'm gonna start off by slicing my brioche bun and toasting the bun. This is really important. You can't skip this step. You've gotta have toasted buns. Then I am going to get my ground beef and I've got this little ramekin here which I've just which I'll use as a burger mold okay let's line our ramekin with some cling film and you'll notice that I'm not seasoning this beef in any way right now I'm just gonna grab it and just let the beef do its thing you're just gonna place your beef unseasoned yeah into your ramekin right you see you see those strands of beef you want those you should your patty shouldn't look like too dense and too squashed together Otherwise, it won't have any texture. Okay, so you just kind of want it, want it to be a little bit textury, if that's a word. Right, let's check on our buns quickly. How are these getting along? Perfect. And here is my perfect burger. And you want these little nooks and crevices in that burger patty. You don't want it to be perfectly formed and squashed. And to this, I'm going to give a lot of seasoning. So because you want, I want that to be develop into a nice crust, so you really season it well. And it might look like too much, but trust me, it's not. So, so salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And straight in. And I'm not gonna play around with this. I'm not gonna touch it. I'm not gonna mess around with it. Just let the burger do its thing, okay? Okay, guys, while that burger is just doing its thing, I'm gonna make my burger sauce. And we're gonna start with some ketchup, some mayonnaise, some English mustard just a touch of this because it's really strong and just give that a really good stir perfect and as your perfect burger sauce right I think we can start getting our burger ready so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna add a dollop of our burger sauce to both top and bottom of this beautiful brioche bun break off some beautiful lettuce leaves Okay, we've got some red onion here, which is gonna be grilled on our pan and then placed onto our burger. These can go into our pan right now, just as they are. Right, so just bang. And just to encourage them slightly, I'm just gonna dab a bit of salt and pepper on each one. Okay, so I'm just gonna flip our burger, perfect. And you can see that beautiful crust, that salt, pepper, and garlic crust, which is just developed on the, on the surface of the burger. Now that's all flavor. That's exactly what you want. Okay, so next is the most important step, and that is to add some butter to your hot pan and baste that burger. The butter basting is what makes it. And that butter is just gonna add so much flavor, so much depth in flavor. Right, our burger's really coming along now. Give it another couple of minutes just for it to finalize and then that's gonna be perfect. Right guys, I'm gonna add my American cheese to the burger patty now while it's still in the pan. One, and I just want that to start oozing off the sides while it's still cooking in the pan. And you can use some white cheddar, some mild white cheddar if you wanted, but for me, a burger has always gotta have this beautiful American processed cheese which works so well with a burger right now I am gonna add some of these onions to my burger absolutely stunning right let's get our beautiful patty and just go straight directly onto that and we need some fresh tomato just to cut through that richness gotta be quick get that lid on Okay, and that is my perfect, quick, delicious cheeseburger. Indulgent, delicious, and rich. Right, let's get stuck in. Where do I start? Let's go straight in. Mm. 
good. It really is so good. Right, that burger would hold its own against any burger in the world. It's that good. The meat is really good quality, 80-20 fat to meat ratio, a good quality brioche bun, a simple burger sauce, grilled onions take it over the edge, and it's just, the meat was just cooked perfectly, and that crust on, the, on both sides, basted in butter. Well, that is my perfect, quick, American cheeseburger. Right, I'm gonna finish this off camera because it's so messy, but really gotta try this one. It's not just delicious, it's absolutely effing delicious.